Hello, Bob Hughes here with JD Squared. And in this video, we're going to talk about Cutter Comp. Cutter Comp has been mentioned in our plasma tutorial videos. And what it essentially is, is the controller's ability to offset the cutter path so you get the desired shape. So let's get a couple terms out of the way here real quick. First, let's describe um, what the kerf is. This is the part that we desire. It's a two by three inch square part and we want to cut it. Now, the kerf is if you take this red circle represents our torch. If you're cutting through a piece of material, you come up with a slot. That's called the kerf, and the width of it is the kerf width. So let's turn that off. Now what it is, is without cutter comp, if you were to tell your the controller, hey, come in and cut that square, it's going to come in and it's going to, unfortunately, it's going to do this because you've essentially told it, it, you know, to cut a path two by two inches by three inches. So it's going to cut along like this, and you can tell that the, um, the part's going to be undersized. So what cutter comp does is it is going to compensate. That's the comp part. It's going to compensate for the, the width of the kerf um, right there. So when you come in, it's going to come in. It's going to pick it up here, and it's going to go around this way. So what it's going to do is it's going to follow this path right here, and that will give you the correct shape part. Now, in our plasma machines, we have tables and everything to where our controller will automatically bring in the cutter comp value depending on your torch setting, and you can also set it manually. Anyway, I hope this explains a little bit to you what cutter comp is, and thank you for watching.